Hi, I'm Milou of Milagical and welcome to this video about refilling the toner cartridges of my brother LED printer. So you've reset one or more cartridges and you've carried on printing. At some point you'll notice your prints look faded. That's the time to print a fade out test swatch. You can find a link to this PDF in the description box below. On this swatch all blocks are affected which means I have to take a look at all of the toner cartridges. Next you weigh the affected cartridge. A completely empty cartridge weighs within a couple of grams of 367. A full cartridge weighs within a couple of grams of 407. Conversely, if you've got a cartridge behaving strangely but its weight is nowhere near 367 grams, you can be sure it's not a lack of toner that's causing the problem and refilling it won't help. Now to the refilling part. Take your empty cartridge, after which you take your blowtorch Next, take your copper melter Heat the bigger end of the copper melter Use the two corners of the nulled effect plastic as rough guides to melt a hole with a heated copper melter. Shake an unopened toner bottle vigorously for a couple of seconds. Put the spout into the hole and lean everything back to a lower angle. Wait for a couple of seconds for the toner to flow in and then bring everything back up and disengage the spout from the cartridge. Repeat this process until the toner bottle is completely empty. Clean up any spilled toner from around the hole with an alcohol swab. Put a plug in to cover the hole. Put the refilled cartridge back into the printer and allow it to initialize.
And here you can see the fade out test swatch after having refilled all of the cartridges. As you can see, all blocks are colourful. The black block shows some stripes, but after having printed a couple of documents, these went away. Refilling my cartridges this way cost me around 50 euros. If I had bought generic brand cartridges, it would have cost me around 123 euros. If I had bought Brother Original cartridges, it would have cost me a whopping 179 euros. So refilling the cartridges myself saved me 129 euros. If you then take into account that for future refilling I only have to buy toner because I can reuse and reset the cartridge wheel in spring and I can reuse the plugs, refilling all cartridges myself will save me 156 euros each time I have to refill all of the cartridges. Do keep in mind however that at some point you will have to retire toner cartridges as they wear out or succumb to deposits on critical components. Refilling the toner cartridges also significantly reduces carbon emission because the following carbon loads do not apply anymore. Manufacture of the replacement organic photoconductor or OPC drum, transport of the OPC drum, transport of the empty cartridge to and from the remanufacturing facility, energy consumed during the remanufacturing at the facility. Also, the footprint of the delivery transport is smaller because the toner powder involved weighs only a fraction of a whole cartridge. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.